everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some homemade hot fudge sauce. Now, this version of my sauce is as healthy as I could possibly get it. And the way I did it was by using really quality ingredients. So I'm going to show you how to do it in just a minute. Now, if you've ever gone to the grocery store and looked at your average bottle of hot fudge sauce, you look at the label and you read what's in it. And normally what I did was I looked at it and the first within one to three ingredients was high fructose corn syrup, not to mention partially hydrogenated oils and polysorbate 60. I don't know what that is, but I know I don't want to eat it. So all these ingredients have been avoided in my recipe because of the ingredients that I chose. So let me go over those ingredients with you right now. So here's our ingredients. Here I have some heavy whipping cream. Now I read the ingredients on this container and it only ha contains cream. So that's what you want. And it can be organic or not. And here we're gonna need a couple of bars of baking chocolate. This is 60% cacao. You can go as high as 70. And uh, over here, we've got some vanilla extract, some dark brown sugar. I have some uh, cocoa powder here and some butter. And here is an unusual ingredient you may not have seen before. This is called golden syrup. I chose to use this instead of corn syrup because it's, uh, it's just a little bit healthier. It's made from uh, cane sugar and not corn. And in our country, most of our corn is genetically modified. So I, this is not, it says it on the label. And also we'll need a little bit of salt. So that's how I got all of my ingredients to be very, very healthy. So the first thing we need to do here is get our saucepan here uh, over meat. I'm gonna put it on medium low heat and I'm gonna add the cream to my saucepan. And I'm gonna add my golden syrup. Look at how golden this is. It's beautiful looking, isn't it? And get yourself a whisk. That way you can start whisking this up. I'm going to add the cocoa powder. The brown sugar. and just a pinch of salt. And I'm gonna heat this up slowly. I don't want it to, you know, come to a roaring boil real quick. We're just gonna do it gradually. And that gives me time to get these, you know, get all the syrup and the chocolate all kind of mixed in and dissolved. One thing I wanna mention about the ingredients that I've used here. You might even be wondering why I even bothered using the golden syrup or the, or you can use the, um, the corn syrup. But what the corn syrup does to your hot fudge is it keeps it nice and soft so that when you put it on ice cream, it doesn't seize up, it doesn't get hard. And so that's why it's a real important ingredient and that's why I went the extra step and am using the golden syrup. So now you can see we've got our mixture up to a simmer. It's actually boiling now pretty good. So that took about two or three minutes to do. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat because we've got a nice boil there. And I'm going to put the butter in and some chocolate. We'll put that chocolate in there. I broke it up into pieces so that it would uh, be easier, oops, easier to melt. Toss all that in there. And we need to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Drop that in. And now all we have to do is stir until it's all melted and incorporated. And that's really all there is to this. It's very simple, very quick, and it makes some really nice chocolate. And I think you can also see here that it's starting to get a little thicker. I've got that little bit of butter left to mix in and that's gonna give it some nice creaminess and richness to our hot fudge. And of course, as this cools, it will thicken up. Look at that, oh my gosh, it's looking incredible. 
Guess what this is gonna go on? Yep, some vanilla ice cream. So making this hot fudge syrup only took me about five to seven minutes. It is so simple to make and so delicious. Let me tell you, it smells incredibly good in here. If you're a chocolate lover, you are gonna love this. Look at this, how nice and creamy. It's extremely smooth and creamy and just perfect. And like I said, it's gonna thicken up as, uh, as we go, you know, as it sits and, and kind of just cools down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead, pour some of this right over my ice cream here. And like I said, it will stay soft. It doesn't get hard and clumpy, and that's because of the golden syrup. And I do think the golden syrup tastes better than caro corn syrup. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> anyway, simple to do. So much healthier because you know the ingredients that are in it, and it takes merely seconds to do. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. I gotta take a taste. Mmm, mm. guys, you're gonna love this. It is very delicious. Mmm, you gotta try it. You absolutely gotta try it. So thanks for watching. Also wanna mention that this would be a great little thing you could make up for the holidays. Put it in a little jar and give it away as a gift to your friends. I'm gonna do that. I have a, a cookie exchange every year and I'm gonna make up a bunch of little jars for everybody to take home when they leave the party. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys will try this and uh, be sure and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any new videos coming out every week and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.